Alright, this is the uh, Adreno. This one is the Delamino. You can see that. So it's about the length of my finger, a little less than my index finger, and about the width of less than my baby finger. So that's really small. Get some palm your hand. And along the top are the I.O. Um, so any pen you can use as an input or an output. And there's six analog uh, inputs at the bottom. There's actually, um, you happen to see that PWM. It's right above the A in Arduino. Anyways, um, there's six of them on here. And uh, so that's for uh, six analog out basically on the uh, Arduino. I have it hooked up to two buttons, two LEDs for when the button's pressed. That's a little speaker. And this is the uh, the BCD chip, which is done in an experiment. And this is the uh, seven segment display. Uh, wired up just like the uh, diagram that you scanned and emailed to me here. And so the resistors um, on the ground side. And uh, so that's four. Um, digital inputs back to here, which are actually these guys are right here. So those four go to the BCD, and the BCD is controlling the other chip. And uh, basically, it's a counter up with the uh, the down button. Um, but problem being that apparently a bunch of the LEDs have burned out, and that might be for me trying to figure out how to wire it up. I'm not using any resistors when I was doing it. And so you can see like, just the LED light here comes on so you can tell it's trying to change numbers. And uh, I'll show you how the program works here. I'm gonna find it. Uh, Alright, so it's actual proper programming language here. So if you look there's PB1 and 2, that's actually the pin number. So pin number 1 is push button 1. See that? Whenever that's pin one starts at zero. And uh, so push button one, push button two. There's the LEDs for the round four and five. Um, this is the BCD. So <coughs> um, BCD, A, B, C, D. Which is, you look here at the pinout that you scanned me, that's the four control signal wires in. And that's for the, uh, the different segments on the display. Those different segments correspond with the A through F. Anyways, um, so what you got to do is you type those in up at the top, which gives you your pin number. And then there is a void setup routine. And that's where you say what it is, if it's an input or if it's an output, so really easy to do. And then in here, it's just a continuous loop. That's the only other routine in the main program. So continuous loop, if that push button is active low, um, and turn the light on, so digital read, push button one, which is PB1 input. Digital read, push button, if that's low, then digital write, PB1 LED high. That's all it is. And so for that one was for playing a song on the music. Push button two is we're going to call this routine, which I wrote called INC BCD, or increment BCD. We're also going to turn the light on. So that light's going to stay on while we're running that. And it'll turn off once that routine is done. So that routine is at the bottom by any chance here. So right here. And this is just if the count is equal to 10, then reset to zero. So Count is actually, we should try to find that just to show you, yeah. Seven segments in it. Int for integer count equals zero. So these are all integers as well. Okay, so if we go down to the bottom. Um, increment BCD, yeah. Count equals, if it equals 10, then reset it to zero. And so you see, if count equals zero, pin A, B, C, and D set to low. So look at this guy here. You see pin A, B, C, D, 0, B, C, D number is 0. Alright, if we go all the way down, 1, 0, 0, 1 will give us 9. 
so we'll check that out here. Scroll down. Okay. So if count equals nine, then go high, low, low, high. So one zero zero one, and then increment the counter. Go count. So the next time you push the button, it's going to be if it started at zero. The next time it's going to be one. The next time it'll be two. And so on. All right, and that's how it works. Pretty simple. Uh, I gotta go to Radio Shack and buy a new seven segment. Thanks again, Simon.